to the greatest show on earth kind of sort of not really but we plan for it to be we are in the One top day. 10 Matt did you go to the kitchen to get a drink when you already had a drink the chicken made me crave Sprite Man, if no one has ever told you you are a black man at heart <laughs> what's chicken, that supposed to the mean the chicken made me crave Sprite God <laughs> that is probably the blackest thing I've ever heard you say my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! He just said it with the serious guys. <laughs> he was so serious when he said that because <laughs> he already had the reason why I asked that because he already had like orange drinks sitting in the floor, <laughs> which only adds to it. <laughs> <laughs> On this edition of the Major Gaming, how racist can you be? In an episode? <clears throat> Let's find out. <laughs> God damn it! So, in case you guys haven't noticed, we um, power leveled even though we only gained one level on each character. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's the ever that counts. You right. did it. We also got some new equipment and a, excuse me, and a couple of spells. Okay. So, uh -huh. hopefully we're ready for what's to come next. <laughs> hopefully. Hey, I think we're prepared. Garland ain't shit. We are the mother and light warriors. The realest four individuals in this 8-bit world, this 8-bit world has ever seen. Confidence is a good thing. It is. I actually don't have that much confidence in myself. <laughs> like, in general. Like, I really don't. You should have more confidence. Everybody should have confidence in themselves. They though. should, but I really don't. Like, I, I, uh, I have fragile confidence. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people do. Like, a lot of people do a good job of acting like they don't, but I think a large majority of people do have that problem. And I tell people that too all the time. I'm like, yeah, I don't really have confidence in myself. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You lying to me like that. This batch of, speaking of being racist, <laughs> this batch of reports right here looks like Mexico to me. <coughs> hmm. Hey, fiesta in the woods! I don't know the Spanish. I think word. that made it worse. I don't, oh my God! There's bats and shit. And there's Garland and He's Princess just, Sarah. A maniac, maniac on the floor. Now we need some like a uh, stro, like yeah. some rave lights and shit. <laughs> Y'all already got bats in here, right? Shit. So good. All right, Garland. Oh, whoops. Oh, we're gonna say we've been on here for about two minutes. We need an actual timer. <laughs> no one touches my princess! Light okay. warriors! You impotent fools! I, Garland, will knock you all down! Yes! One of my favorite quotes of all Final Fantasy games. He will knock I, down. Garland, will knock you all down! That is actually a pretty cool sprite oh, image, though. Look like that on Prince! Look at this! <laughs> Purple cape! <laughs> Purple cake. Quick, sleep. Hit him with a hammer. We should have bought you some magic. We really should have. But I can heal us at least. Well, I can be backup healing at least. All right. Magic. You gonna roast him? Taste my lightning, uh, fuckers. Yeah. 38 damage. Oh, my God. That's pretty legit. Terminated. <laughs> I go out. That would have been <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All that work. <laughs> lightning. Terminated. But it's funny you say that because when I played this game on my own for the PSP copy, mm -hmm. uh, that's what kept happening to me. I got so lost in that game, and whenever I fought a boss, it died. Because you were doing nothing but power so level. Fast, like that Earth Spirit thing. Yep. Like, oh my god, that thing fucking melts. Mm -hmm. Dude, same thing happened to me. Like I'll, like I will never argue that this game does a shit job of telling you where to go, because it does. Right, let's do fire. Let's see him. Do you let's remember how much I did last 38, time? Thirty-eight. I want to say. I did thirty-eight. Okay. Thirty-six or thirty-eight, somewhere in there. Yay! Four sleep damage. laid the hammer down. Yes. Oh. Goddamn. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> so I guess we didn't need to be level four for this. Matt, Matt, that motherfucker died. <laughs> so bad. We did it, guys. We are strong, and I hope you guys are ready because whenever I play an RPG, this is the fuck that's going down. Mm -hmm. We're we gonna be strong. strong. We are gonna be strong. We may die a lot, but we will be strong at the same time. Yep. Am I playing Earthbound? Am I doing a Mother series? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, God. Oh, no, that's 250 gold we got. Uh, 250 ducats. Come on, girl. Bring it. Oh, shit. Now we have to actually worry. <laughs> <laughs> guys. That is so fucked up. Guys. <laughs> Wait, you gave him the horror spell, right? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try one. So we're about to find out if that is what I think it is. Magic. Home. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it does hit everything on the field. Um, oh, my oh. God. Well. I know they're also weak to fire. Yeah, because they're undead. That's always the case. Fire, or undead things are always weak to fire and healing stuff. Like, that's why I can't wait until we play Final Fantasy VI yeah, we got and we wreck that game train. Trying to go get this girl. Oh, damn. Token just... Well, that thing got wrecked. Taste my light! Oh, my Holy God. shit. Almost. Um, what? Hitting level four. Okay. I'm ineffective. <laughs> 24? My God. Terminated. 30. God damn. damn! What the damn. hell? Damn! <laughs> so I'm like, literally, our white mage is our best DPS. <laughs> God, white mage. I have mercy. <laughs> now, battle mercy. Yes. 24P and 48G. Okay. Now we can talk to her. So, so you are the light warriors. Thank you! <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> oh, Lord! Oh, you know you love my voice acting. <laughs> God damn it, Matt. <laughs> hey, oh. you've been voice acting all the characters. I wanted one damn I mean, not all the characters! You voice acted the townspeople, you voice acted the king, you voice acted the soldiers, and okay, you voice fine, acted fine, the Okay, fine, 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 fine. No, no, no. You... Since you're old, man. There we go. You Thank you for saving the princess. I it. I to aid it your friends. quest, I ordered a bridge built to the continent. Go now and make the orbs shine again. So, here's my thing about this. You saved his daughter. You saved his kingdom. And this nigga made a bridge? Yes. <laughs> like... We didn't get money? no money. We didn't get no statue in our honor. <laughs> we didn't even get a holiday. We nigga made a bridge. Now, granted, we don't even get like a free pass to the inn or some shit. Damn, you're right? Like, okay. I mean, like, like you were gonna say, like, I mean, we do get a bridge that lets us actually, you know, go beyond here. Which here's my question: There was no bridge, right? Mm -hmm. This continent's all on its own, as far as we how know. How the fuck did they survive? How the fuck did we get here? Why just popped up. Magic. Yup. <laughs> Thank you, Final Fantasy, for making sense in all of your games. <clears throat> it was 8 bit. Them niggas didn't have to make sense. <laughs> you were they eight. just had to make sure somebody played the damn game. And what's worse is that Final Fantasy 2 makes even less sense than this one. <sighs> I have a question. Yep. All those doors are locked, right? The yeah. ones up top. Did you talk to uh, Sarah? I think. I think it's her or like her sister you talk to, and they'll give you some item. <clears throat> My sister is back safe. Thank you. Well, fine. Just leave in the middle of me saying thanks. Uh, Rude bitch. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt. As you stated earlier, it's late. Thank you, Missy. Praise the Blah 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 blah. Is that what she that what she sounded like? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have to think about it. A lot of like this is like <coughs> the early ages of video games. Oh, so it's yeah. kinda like the early age of any kind of form of art, like, you know, traditional well, paintings and stuff like mm -hmm. that. 
where there was no rules. They made the rules as they fucking went along. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's what's really interesting about it. 400 years ago, the treasury was locked by the mystic key. Our ancestors gave the key to the Prince of Elfland for safekeeping. Oh, well, now we know where we need to go to get the key. <laughs> I'm gonna press it again. So, and like, I mean, like, doors are locked. Let me check. I think so, but yeah, might as well double check while we're here. Ooh, Mystic Key. The Not same much. thing, because I'm also an old man. Are y'all brothers? <laughs> They probably know. <laughs> but I mean, like you were saying about the whole, like, you know, first forms and stuff, like, this and Dragon Quest were both of our, like, both of, like, everyone's first experiences as creating original, like, video game RPGs. Right. That's why it's like, this one is What's so right? dead set focused on right. playing, like, a D&D campaign. 862. I miss playing D&D. D &D, like, really tabletop wish, RPGs I, are really fun. I really wish I had the time to do tabletop, man. I right? really, really, really love tabletop like RPGs. And I, my favorite one, I mean, D&D &D is cool, but I really like Exalted. Exalted is so fun. Exalted is cool because you get to be like so overpowered and do a lot of extreme stuff. But it also puts in a, your creativity is how you do yep. extra damage. Which is real, like, I've always loved that as an idea. I really wish. I mean. <sighs> like you were saying, like, D&D &D is cool. And it's like, you know, the kind of like the mother of all tabletops kind of thing. True. But like. That's the nice thing about tabletops. There are so many should different kinds. Should I more spells, there. more low-level spells, or should I save what we got? Uh, how much do we have? We have like 800 right yeah, now? Yeah, like 800. Oh, we should probably save it for the next town, because when we get to the next town, we'll probably need to buy new equipment, <sighs> yeah. new spells, all that stuff. All right, we got this bitch. It's been uh, real, Cornelia. We're about Peace to start the true journey, guys. Peace and you're here with us to do it. A little red of Spain. Holla. Mm. Cutscene! And so their journey begins. So technically that full first part is just basically a glorified demo. Yep. What awaits the four they do not know. Count 1987. <clears throat> Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with the beauty from within, but now only darkness. Come, start your journey. We turn the light of peace to our world. I actually have always liked this image, though. I've always thought it was cool. Program by Nazir. I like this version of the Cornelia map on the new Dissidia game. Oh, yeah. I love the look of that map. I like the look, so... the look of it, but I really like the freaking song that plays. Mm. The fucking uh, <laughs> Cornelia theme, but it's kind of sky, and I freaking... I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh, I love it when they take things that I already like and like mix it up like that. <sighs> one day, one day, I will be you'll have your famous composer. You'll computers. have your name in that stuff. <sighs> one day, I really, really want to work for a game company. Just do it. Speaking music. of, shout out to our friend Will. Yeah, so we have a close friend. Um, if you played it, what's the name of the game? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. It just like it just came out, or the demos. I think it just released this week. Yeah. So, um, a very very close friend of ours named Will. Um, he's actually in the credits. Yeah. Because he helped out with the game. Yeah. He's and, a cool dude, and he got to work on what I've heard is a really fun game. Yeah. And it looks fun. I wish I'd had the ability to play it, but I just don't have the money for it. Because as we stated in a previous episode. We're broke. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I am going to apply for some game companies. Epic Games is one of them. Yeah. Even though the only thing I could do is, well, audio. Um, I mean, I could do some programming. Yeah. Very light programming. Light. Mm -hmm. Light programming. But I could do uh, music. I, that's what I really want to do. I really want to yeah. make music for video games. And we have two big companies in our state. Like our state is trash, but we have two big gaming companies in our state. That's one good thing about our state. Um... I don't know if you're supposed to go this path or the upper path. I honestly am trying to remember. We about to... We yep. gonna see. Because I do know that there's a... I'm 
Now that you're on the second island, there's the Matoya's Cave. Because that's where you find the witch lady. Yeah. With all the brooms and shit. Fourteen diamonds, okay. Okay. Seventeen diamonds, okay. Fifty-six. <gasps> oh. Okay, it was a critical, but holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Oh, God. Please die. Oh. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh. So just to be on the safe side. We were all in a good mood coming on right, this new continent. Like, yeah. shit. We went across the continent and we saved the princess, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we get here and this. And an iguana is killing us. A fucking iguana. <sighs> fucking. And Miss Fizzle's pet is fucking us. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. God. Jeez, I was really if that like I was so worried that forty had killed. <laughs> you have to wait for that word terminated. <laughs> that damn pause after every attack is so right. terrifying. It's the absolute. Like, that one enemy gave us thirty eight points. Go the other pass. Yeah, I don't. Should, I don't trust this area. Yeah, we should leave the marsh. <laughs> God damn. At least we know we can handle one mad pony. So three, maybe. Matt. I know they hit hard. Sometimes you speak, and I'm like, why was he do this? <laughs> why this? Because I'm trying to take my friend's advice and be more optimistic. <clears throat> Excuse me, couldn't say that with a straight face. <laughs> You're the absolute worst. Sometimes, yeah. I do what I can. My God! Why? What is going on? We were doing good! What happened? We oh. took down Garland in like one turn! Oh, we just did 54 damage in one hit. And he's still alive! He's still alive. God, don't. 33 damage to sleep. He did two hits. Oh my. I'm gonna put a double kick. He did. <laughs> this is not fun. This is no longer fun. This is no so longer a safe place. I got a question for you, Risa. What? Speak. Let's, let's... What? Which one would you say has a more difficult learning curve? First Final Fantasy. First Pokemon you ever played. Oh, this is way harder than first Pokemon. <laughs> oh, shoot. What? Man, man, man. We're about to die. We're about to die. We are about to die. About You're to right. Die. Sleep's about, about dead. About to... Token's about dead. You about dead. One of them's dead. One's dead. My Man, I missed. God! I'm staying alive, but I can't hit worth shit, apparently. Damn it. I was really wanting to see the word terminated. Okay, magic. Voila. Magic. Uh, magic. We're gonna have to go back to Corneria to heal. Right? <laughs> This is so depressing. You know, you the fuck her fast. All right, and for a decent amount. You come. You got the white major. Oh my god! <gasps> he has one HP left. I did ten fucking damage. He did thirty fucking damage, and it's still alive. Cure, cure, cure. My god. Okay, I'm like, sometimes the healing spells hit for like 40 plus healing. <laughs> Other times they do like 20 points. Like, the randomness factor of the spells is ridiculous. Where is the closest town? Now we gotta go to the place with the pirates. Yeah, I think that is the next town, from what I remember. Fuck. Yep. So the reason why I asked you about the whole which one do you think is has the harder learning curve? Mm-hmm. I've seen people complain that Pokemon has the harder learning curve. I mean, it's not easy. The first like the, the Pokemon first is not are, easy. Yeah, they aren't easy, especially depending like if you went in like I did and you got that Charmander and you tried fighting Brock. Uh, Brock throw a rocket to your ass. <laughs> Charmander's fucking dead. What you, the hell, Token? You thought that scratch ability was gonna do some damage to that Geodude? You were wrong. Token, what the hell? 
is <coughs> fucking you sideways like a choo choo train. You're out of magic. Right? I am out of magic. God, this is the struggle. Why is Garland easier than most random encounters? This makes no sense. <laughs> Okay, right, one's another one's dead. Another one bites the dust. Don't you? Okay, I'll take it. I'm almost dead, though. Yeah, you barely took it, but you took it. See, that brought him all the way back up to 35 health. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the spells are so random. <laughs> use random. Like your magic spells hitting between 10 and like. 50 to 60 damage. <sighs> Did you do it, sleep? Did you do it? Nope. Arise! 30? Okay. That, that's a good solid amount. Okay. And we beat him. Alright, we beat him! Literally used like everything we had. To... We got the experience. That's, that's also what matters. Yep. Okay. The XP and the gold. The P and the G. The P and the G. 47-45. Respectable. <laughs> okay. And Continue. now we run back to our area. Yes, we do. So depressing. <laughs> Not to mention that also the damn town is like walled in, so you have to go all the way We're around. around. <laughs> No, we almost have a thousand gold, though. Save up a good amount. I'll be glad when I get you another weapon when you stop fucking missing. Mm, hopefully that'll happen in the next town. I think the first weapon you're supposed to get is a broadsword. Mm, in this case. I actually thought that, too, in all honesty. We the four light warriors and we gonna bring it. I don't care cause them niggas try to hang it, uh. We gonna fight these monsters in the field, yeah. I don't care what that is, oh my god, uh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> right. You know what, now would not be a bad time to see if harm worked on all enemies, but I think it only works I'm on I'm pretty sure it only works on dead. <laughs> So actually now would probably be a bad time to test that out. Okay, so we're gonna fight. We're gonna beat up this motherfucker right here. Fight. Let's see. Seriously? What? So... Rapier, damage rating 9, hit rate 5. Scimitar, damage rating 10, but hit rate 10. So hit rate goes up. Come on, where the hell is... I don't even see Broadsword listed. That's funny. There's Scimitar, Short Sword, Silver Sword, Sun Sword, Wear Sword. Like a whole bunch of shit. No Broadsword. Long Sword. <laughs> So, we'll get me a new weapon when we get me a new weapon. Oh, damn, your health is looking low, bro. Yeah. That wolf's been hitting you, hasn't it? Yeah. And by that wolf, I mean probably the entire pack's been attacking you. Yeah. It hurts. <sighs> Taste my lightning, fucker. Terminate. God damn! damn. No, I, those wolves have so much health on them. Why do you have so much health? Bro, how much healing do you need? <laughs> I'm on double 25 health! True. You, you were low. I'm trying to get secret by a crit, crit, and then bloop. 
I'm, like, I'm actually looking forward to two because I know how to like grind in two to make your team pretty much broken as hell, so. Oh my god. So, you know, it's funny because I think I had an opportunity to play this game as a child, but I never did because, you know, the whole story about me not mm -hmm. liking. You um, were not a fan of. I was RPGs. not a fan of RPGs. I was not. I, I hated Zelda and I hated RPGs. And if you guys are curious about what we're talking about, you may want to go back to our other episodes in the Mario series. Yep. As well as I think I talk about this a little bit in Kirby as well. I think you did, yeah. Um. So yeah, go back on those episodes and you know just chill and watch. Yeah, check yeah, them out. Just check them out. But I really did not like RPGs growing up. I thought that was boring. The game that changed all of that around, of course, is Tales of Symphonia. Um, Good game. Makes sense. But, man. I really hated RPGs. And I, I, I constantly, like, even as I play this game now, I'm like, how much different would life have been, even as a gamer, mm -hmm. if I would have actually played this game as a child and beat it and, you know... I mean, hell, honestly, if you had played this as a child, it could be that you could have ended up hating RPGs even more. Like, in all Touché. honesty. <laughs> Touche. Or you could have gotten into them and been like, hey, these are actually pretty cool. Like, life is always filled with what ifs. Like, I mean, like, I've, I've talked about it previously on some episodes, too, but, um... Oh my god, how much health? Like, right, they have so much health. <laughs> but yeah, like, I grew up and I didn't get into RPGs... Except for my brother actually got me into them. Oh my god. god. Damn, Token, you took a lot of damage. Here you go, take a one. <laughs> that chain mail, bro. I need to put you back in the top. That just means you have to get Black, ma or black Belt to die. And... That's kind of on the way. Yeah. Alright, it's finally effing dead. Jeez, now we can actually get rid of everything else okay. without any real trouble in comparison. What is the amount of time? Uh, three more minutes. Okay. She probably put it not close to the mic when it. Thank you. Yeah, you, you got a point. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I was saying, the only reason why I got into RPGs was because of my brother, and the ones that got me into it were Final Fantasy IV, Chrono Trigger, and Super Mario RPG. Super Mario RPG is probably one of the most fun RPGs that I played when I was younger because it was like still active. Because mm -hmm. you know, like when you attack and block and stuff, you have to actually like do button timing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was a nice change of pace from just like usual, regular turn-based like this. Uh, that's actually one of the cool things about Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI has a few characters that are actually interactive characters, even though it's a turn-based game. Saban. Yep, Saban has fighting Saban. game inputs. Yep. Which is, which I always thought was like a really cool aspect to add into a game. So yeah, I mean like, I feel like everybody has that first game that gets them into any genre that they like, whether it's a shooter, a racing game, RPGs, whatever. Yeah. Like fighting games. I got into fighting games because of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the SNES. That's not what got me into fighting games. What got me into fighting games was Tekken 3. Tekken 3 was so fun. It was uh, just the arcade experience and having people lined up and putting them tokens up. Mm -hmm. and I just missed the arcade scene. I wish it would have never died in America. Yeah, like, it's very, very weak in America now. Like, there's only... There's the one in Greensboro. Yeah. And that's pretty much about all the ones that I know of in the area. Mm -hmm. Other than, like, Dave and Buster's type arcade places well, I mean, and stuff. we have one in our local mall, but it's just ass to Well, it. yeah, I... I don't know if that's what I'm gonna die! Took it, you bet not die. And <laughs> six points of damage. I'm so sad. Fuck. Oh. I had two people cast cure on this dead ass yep. nigga. Dead ass. <laughs> I'm so fucking sad. See, for me though, I never really got into the 3D fighters. Like I was, because again, I grew up on like Street Fighter, so I was more into the 2D fighters. I, you know what? You know what's funny? Like. I... I kind of, I mean, I always saw 2D Fighters, and I played Street Fighter, mm. but I didn't really get into it because the people who played Street Fighter 2 at, at the timeout down this road, mm -hmm. 
were some intense motherfuckers. Yes, they were. Like, the people who played Tekken, when they were serious, but it wasn't as serious. I remember the two dudes that used to duke it out the most was this one dude with the beer belly, and he had like a sergeant haircut, yep. and then the black dude with the dreads. That mofo was so... They used to make fights look intense, especially. And then I'll never forget when Tech a Tag dropped and they had a huge tournament at Timeout. Oh my God. It was so many people there. Yeah. Like so many people. But yeah, um, I guess that's what our common question of the day is. What's yeah. your. Um, what's, what, uh, what is an arcade experience you remember? Uh, do you have any memories? Would you like to go to an arcade? Do you know where a cool ass arcade is? I know Maximilian dude posted about years ago about yeah. this awesome arcade he found in like uh, I think it was in the Midwest and like uh, Chicago or some shit like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I think that is right. But that shit looked dank as mm. fuck. I I mean I'm with you. I wish that the arcade scene would come back, but at the same time, I cannot play on an arcade system in a, with a fighting game. I suck at it. You know, but that's because I never really grew up doing it. Oh, I love I, I mean, I'm used to it. Like, an arcade stick's cool and all, but I just can't do it. But, alright guys, that is it for this episode. So, until next time, see ya! Y'all stay sexy. Hit it! <laughs>